mechanic. Guys have toolboxes that look like that. But this is much more glittery and glamorous and I'm gonna show you the tools that you need to have also. So let's take a peek inside. or any other gadgets or gizmos or things. These are just essential tools that you should have in your kit that make, give you a little more bang for your beauty buck and really kind of help keep things really looking glamorous and gorgeous in your room. So let's get started. I will show you in my little toolie box. Now the first one that is essential that maybe you have, maybe you don't, maybe you think it's not purposeful or useful is the eyelash curler. This makes a world of difference. I'm telling you, if you don't have very long or curly lashes, you can curl one straight like this. You can even tilt it out and curl this way again, so you're getting a really full curved bent lash and then apply your mascara. You can even blow it with your blow dryer for just a few seconds so it warms up. So it kind of has like a hair curler kind of effect on your eyelashes. Just a couple seconds, you don't want it to get too hot. So this is a must have. If you want, you can invest in a good eyelash curler. Um, this is Japanese. I love it and it was a present, so I don't know how much it was, but it is really awesome. And it doesn't like curl or bend or pinch your eyelashes. Cheaper ones have like bent and ripped out my eyelashes and you want to keep your eyelashes attached to your eyes. The next essential thing that I have had for years is the Tweezer Man tweezers, the slanted angle tweezers. These are amazing. I've had the same pair for 15 years. I've never sharpened them or anything. Now I've bought other pairs because they're just cute and adorable, like the Betsy Johnson Tweezer Man with the roses. I just loved it and I had to buy this also. Um, so that's my more recent purchase like a year or so ago. And then a cool thing they have, and this is essential to keep in your purse too. You never know when you're gonna need tweezers. Somebody's got a stray eyebrow you want to tweeze. You found a stray one that you want to get out of wherever it's growing. Um, this is the mini little tweezer man, and this is of course the um, Harajuku Lovers one, which I loved, so I bought it. And it's mini and cute, and it has a little rubber cap, so you can keep that safely inside your purse. Um, so you can touch up your eyebrows whenever you need to. Now the next thing I should have mentioned after that would be the mini eyelash curler. Now this one is from Model in a Bottle, and it looks like this, it's really tiny. So you just pull this little part down, and then you just squeeze your lashes like so. So this is awesome for traveling or just to pop in your purse if you're going to touch up your makeup or you're just going on an overnight trip and you just want to have a mini eyelash curler and it's cute and small and it, um, I got this from Model in a Bottle. Um, the next one I'm going to show you, um, these are kind of all eyebrow eye grooming must because that's like the center, that's where the windows of your soul are your eyes, it's not your mouth. Um, so I'm going to show you, this is a little curved, a cuticle um, scissor. It's for your nails, just a little curved cuticle scissors to trim your cuticles with. I use this to trim the eyebrows and this is where part number, I don't know what number we're on, is going to come through but this is a little eyebrow brush comb thing. So the cool thing about this, and you can watch all the videos I have on how to groom, shape, tweeze your eyebrows, all of that goodies, but um, this is one of my essential tools because um, as you will see in the video, I will comb the eyebrows up 
And then with the curved brush, you just tweeze the little hairs that are sticking out above the comb bristles. You comb like up above where your eyebrow stops. So any little stray hair sticking up, you just tweeze. And the curved shape of these little trimmers helps the eyelashes fall down perfectly into place like a beautiful eyebrow. So you don't get like a straight, if you do it with straight scissors straight across, it's going to look like your eyebrows went to the military and got like a little buzz cut. Um, so you don't want that. So this is a great way to do that. And I like to have a special pair that I don't use on my cuticles or fingernails so they stay sharp because they'll get a little like not so sharp on your fingernails. And this little, um, you can get these anywhere. Any drugstore you can pick these up for really cheap. And then I forgot to show you number seven, the Urban Decay Grindhouse Sharpener. This has a double sided so your fatter, chubbier, thicker pencils you can sharpen and then the thinner side for your lip liners and eyeliners. Now I recommend having two, one that you designate just for eyeliners and one just for lip liners and lighter colors. You don't want to stick your pretty light lip liner in after you sharpened a black eyeliner and you get it all smeared and gross. It's got this great little cap so you don't spill any of the shavings. It comes with a little pick so you can poke and remove any debris or chunks or pieces you need to get out of there. It is super sharp. It sharpens perfectly. It doesn't break, doesn't lose shavings. I love this and I recommend everybody get one for eyeliner, one for lips. These are just the essentials that I just need and when I go on a trip I do take my eyelash curler and I do take my tweezers. So these are the essentials to go with you. I hope that helps you feel extra beautiful and you can add it to your toolbox. Look at my letters totally fell. Now it's an wool box. Tool. Toolbox. And that's crooked and we lost the S. Um, don't forget, I'll try to put a blog post, the link below, I'll put, if you want to know where I got this polish, what color it is, where it's shirt, where all, all this other stuff, just go below and I'll put it in my blog post attached to this. I hope you guys have an awesome day. I hope this video made you smile. And don't forget, you can check out um, my blog, which I write every day. I also have another channel on YouTube, which is not really about beauty. It's random and crazy. And you can click here, click somewhere. Click here, click this box here, and you can go there. Thanks for subscribing. Um, what else do I want to tell you? You can find me on Pinterest, on Twitter, on Instagram under Candy Johnson. Candy Johnson. And then go to my blog, Candyland and CandyJ.com. I got so many stuff going on. Just go to them. They're kind of fun. I work on them every day, and uh, that's all I got to say about that. Huge hugs and love from my house to yours, and you're beautiful with all this makeup and drunk and everything else on, but this will hopefully just help you make hope you help you make you feel you haha <laughs> this will just help you feel a little bit prettier or glammier or at least you'll know what I use to help make me self make me self I'm gonna stop talking oh boy okay have an awesome day we'll see you in the next video bye that isn't even a real world word word that's not you need to redo that that did not look good Nope. Hey, where'd the S go? Let's try that again. I'm... <laughs> oh! <laughs> I actually had a screwdriver because I had to fix a clogged drain in my shower, so... Beauty and a drain shower clog fixing person all in one. Hope it helps you make you feel hopeless a little. That didn't even make sense. I just ruined my lipstick.